Jam! Jay, I'm going to have to go upstairs. <laughs> You're going to have to wrap this podcast up on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, please find your seats. Uh, the show is about to start. Ooh, hello there. How are you? Welcome to Zach Fox's Stinky Little Show, the podcast that knows how to embrace an uncomfortable silence. Hmm. That's the good stuff. Today's guest is a man who needs some introduction. He's a multi-talented, multimedia, multi-tool, a singer-songwriter who is trying to distance his public image from his famous father faster than you can say Blanket Jackson. He's an audiovisual sensation. He's a creative tour de force and the lead singer of the band Push Baby, whose upcoming EP has already been described by some as containing literally seven songs. His hobbies include peacocking and lying awake at night. Please welcome to the show my best mate and best man, Mr. Jake Roach. You can stop hiding your face and cringing now. No, that was long. So- <laughs> Got to get a train in half hour. Um, what was the bit about my dad? <laughs> yeah, totally, man, totally. Blanket Jackson. Yeah, 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 man, totally. We're on the same page there, brother. <laughs> uh, did you see the documentary? Yeah, he really, definitely, allegedly licked that boy's bum. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that, mate. <laughs> In Zach Fox's stinky little show, there will always be eight points up for grabs for me guess to win, split over two games. But first, it's time for five shit questions. <laughs> Question number one. Mm. What was your biggest waste of money ever? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've spent a lot. I've spent money on stupid stuff. You know me better than anyone. What was, what was my biggest waste of Definitely money? Definitely the drone that you whisked into that tree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Either right. that or Jesse Nelson's engagement <laughs> okay, ring. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Genuinely, is there anything else to say? You you astroturfed your room, didn't you? Yeah, but I wasn't wasting money. I loved it. I, I think I, I don't really. You're similar with me with money that. You don't regret him because you get uh-huh. his, yeah, we, we invest in fads. We can agree on that. What? <laughs> what? Stood in front of all this podcasting equipment. What? <laughs> yeah, just just a lot of cl- clothes. How much did it cost to AstroTurf your room? I'm not saying that was a waste of money. No, uh, about uh, all in all, it wasn't just for the turf, but to let, to raise my bed and to buy all the lights and the flowers. Two and a half grand. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Why... Did you astroturf your room? Question 1.5. Uh, it just, I wanted a creative space where I could just feel comfortable. And instead of just obviously living in my mum's spare room. I'm still there living in my, my mum's spare, spare room. room. <laughs> question number two. Can you answer this question without repeating any of the words in it? And why? <laughs> Gotta be one of the shit questions <laughs> yeah. of all time. <laughs> Is it a riddle? Oh, I said it. <laughs> okay, next question. Question number three. Who wants to be a millionaire? Do you remember the Ingram family? Answering a question with a question. Very interesting. I like your style, boy. <laughs> the Ingram family. No, who are they? They were uh, a couple. The guy who coughed his way to a million. Oh, my God, yeah. And it was a documentary. And it really haunted me as a kid because there's a moment where the guy in the audience they ask a question and he and the guy in the audience gets the answer wrong and he goes <coughs> no like, oh, it's giving me shivers now thinking about it. i don't know why it just really fucked me up as I a know kid i mean there was something quite scary about it something because it, it was like hidden in plain sight yeah it's like there are things like that where you go back and re-watch them you see something you didn't see yeah, the first time yeah. just yeah mama's house video available now <laughs> um yeah no it really 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 stuck with me clever though man if you need help with these shit questions, I can cough for you if you like. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be a millionaire. How much money would you be happy with? A sum of money enters your bank account right now. How much would you go, I don't want any more than that? Oh, very good question. Um, the first figure that came into my head, 50 million. <laughs> That's awful, isn't well, what it? You've just said you don't want to be a millionaire. I know, just, but then I just thought... I want to oh, be a I multi-millionaire. Fuck. Yeah, I'd love to just... It's not happiness, is it? But like, Jesus, like going on a private island with your best mates mate you've always if i'm honest you've always sort of flicked between the two you've always sort of struggled with whether you want to be the per- the richest person on yes. earth or the poorest yes you don't want to be anywhere in between no please no 
I'm at my most happiest, and I think that says a lot because you've seen me the other end. Yes, where I have. I have. have. <laughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> no, uh, Is that copyrighted? <laughs> Can I use that? <clears throat> no. Shit. Question number four. If you had to sleep with any cartoon character, who would it be? Oh, Jessica Rabbit. Roadrunner, depending on how horny I am. Ooh. <laughs> We're all a little bit gay, aren't we? Question five. Where would you finish? I'd probably come in second because I'd let her win the race. Oh, he's copped out of that one. Thank you so much, Jake. Bit of an odd way to end, but that's fine because we're now shuffling over to game number one. Game number one. Let's do it. It's called Wiki Pete Ear. Here we go. And the rules could not be more simple. I have in front of me your actual Wikipedia page. The Wikipedia page of Jake Peter Roach. It's a strong middle name, mate. Shut up. If your first name was Peter, you'd be a different person. Yeah, you'd be like looking after my accounts or something and doing a great <laughs> job of it. I don't know. It does feel very formal. Peter feels very formal. Peter. Peter, how are you? It's it's your it's your it's your auntie's new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name's Peter Roach. I'm a mechanical engineer from... Oh, don't throw Roach in it, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I think Roach is all right. It's Peter we're focusing on. I've gone ahead and made your page even pete ear Hence the name Wikipedia. And the so rules within the actual live article more that people could go and click on right now. And I have the added rules couldn't be more simple. from four famous Peter's cool. Wikipedia like pages. All you have to do is read through it and find the facts that don't belong to you and then tell me which Peter they do belong to. Is that clear? Yes. There are points up for grabs. For each one you correctly identify and there's no time limit, you lucky bloody thing. Cool. The only time limit is you catching the 1240 from Houston to Manchester. <laughs> yeah, just tell everyone. How the fuck are we going to do this? I think I'd come on a face. <laughs> <laughs> And start. <laughs> Jake Peter Roach, born 16th September 1992, English singer, songwriter, and artist. He is known as the lead vocalist of the band Push Baby. He was born, here we go, he was born with Achondrops Latia, a common form of dwarfism. Can I have a go at that? <laughs> yes. So, wait, you don't think that that's part of your Wikipedia? I don't, I hope not. <laughs> Can I have a go? Yes. Peter Dinklage. Jake, for your first point. That is correct. Yes, thank you. That was taken from the early life section of American actor and film producer Peter Hayden Dinklage's Wikipedia page. Continue. Early life. Born in Rygate, England, 1992. Roach is the son of English actor Shane Ritchie and his then-wife, singer and television personality Colleen Nolan. His parents divorced when he was nine years old. He said about the divorce, I used to be scared stiff of the nuns. <laughs> Their whole denial of womanhood, the black dresses and the, <laughs> and the shaving of the hair was so horrible, so terrifying. Of course, that's all been stopped. And a couple of them flashed their pretty ankles at me just the other day. What Pete is that? Wait, so you, that wasn't your quote? <laughs> what Pete is that? With the nuns. This is a tough, tough point. Is it? I just didn't want you walking away with a full eight points on your first go. Can I have a clue as to who it is? It's a actor. Peter Postlethwaite. Is that your final answer? Yes. Is it Peter Postlethwaite? Is that going to be... He's dead now, isn't he? <laughs> that is incorrect. Mate, sorry. You, you still got your one point. But that was stage and film actor Peter O'Toole speaking there ah. of the Catholic school he attended during World War II. Something that you both have in common, isn't it? Yes. Thanks right. for your help there, mate. <laughs> Um, I'll do all the work, shall I? Yeah, you do all heavy lifting. I'm just looking through my wiki. All right, mate, you've got two more Peters to find. Acting career. Roach trained at the Sylvia Young Theatre School for two years and appeared in the film Finding Neverland. Academically brilliant, he has expertise in the fields of applied science, chemistry, physics, biology, engineering, mathematics and mechanics. With his talents, he, he sews his own costume to conceal his identity. Right. So you're very perceptively there realised that you don't sew your no, own no, costume yet. to hide your identity. Um, he's a science, he's got like degree in science, mathematics, engineer. Peter, can I have a clue please, mate? Uh, fictional. Ah. Pete. Ah. Peter Parker. That is correct. 
Well done, mate. You've got two out of three points so far. And yes, that was everyone's favourite webhead, Peter Parker, a.k.a. The Man Spider. <laughs> Moving on, you've got one more Peter to find. Cool. Uh, singing career. Roach is the front man of the band The Lost Boys, which includes members Tootsies, Nibs, Slightly Curly and The Twins. Okay, I don't remember that. So I'm going to go out and I say, I think it's another fictional character. That's right. And I think it is the boy who never grew up, Peter Pan. That is correct. You're absolutely correct. It's an easy one to end the game with, which is a bit disappointing. Yes. <laughs> that was pinched from the friends section of Peter Pan's Wikipedia. The boy who never grew up. Again, something you both have in common. <laughs> yes, correct. Because when you experience fame at a really young age, it's hard to mentally mature. Oh, crumbs. Um, excellent. Your current score is three out of four. It's time for a break now while we listen to one of my absolute fave jams. That was awesome. <laughs> Sorry, you just caught us in the middle of a laugh. Uh, awesome. <laughs> awesome, dude. I'm having so much fun, by the way. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, same. Yeah, it says chat here in capital letters in blue in the font Roboto. Um, so what would you like to talk about? I, I, no one really knows this. Uh, just to give people context and to any, you know, fans that are listening, Zach is, uh, you, you, well, you are the wine taster for Push Baby. You are the first. Oh, mate, and what an honour it's been. Thank you for saying that. But, but seriously, you are. I, I read something. Um, uh, I saw it on Niche. Try and impress your friends. And I think that I always try to do that. I hope I'm impressing you today. You're in the middle of doing press right now in yes. real life. What's your like philosophy been this time round when it comes to doing interviews and stuff and answering questions? Authenticity. You know, the previous press that we did with Rixton, I'd always go in and you'd have that moment and then you know, whatever, the red light would come on and then you'd have, hey man, how you doing? And it was just like, who the fuck are you? And then you kind of go back to your, your hotel room or the interview finishes and you kind of have this low moment of like, oh, I've just burst. Uh, you know, yeah, in FIFA, yeah. when you hold down R2 and you blow the beans in the yeah, opening five yeah. minutes, it really felt like that. So now, like, I just... You've had four years to recharge that bar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I just, I just feel energised, mate. Prove it. Okay, what do you want me to do? Be zany. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking book of this fucking shit! <laughs> I find it tough because I feel like, and I'm going to be really honest here, you just asked me a question before, where would I finish? Yeah. Now, off air, that's our humour. It is very, it's ironic. It's yeah, very yeah, aware yeah. that, guys, it's shocking, but, yeah. but it's our humour because... Because we all know that we're not those people inside. Yes, exactly. In including each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You can push those boundaries because it's like, oh, that's not Zach's yes, views. That's exa not jokes. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. But when I always talk about I pride Push Baby on transparency, I guess I do have to just start showing people the real me. And, and in real life, you know more than anyone. I, I don't, we, we don't hold back in real life. But sometimes when you do these interviews and podcasts, you're a bit scared of offending. Mate, I think it's not just exclusive to the industry that you're in. I think most people have a professional self and a personal self. Yeah, I think that that's just the that, way man? that you... I'd love to just... Um, well, hopefully by the time this is out, I'm walking around saying I'm coming everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you are actually coming on a rabbit. Um, the answer is, in your professional life, be as honest as you can. Yeah. You don't have to hold yourself to this like image of utter honesty and transparency to the point of, guys, look at my fucking heart. You have to just constantly try to be as honest as but possible. But where do you land with offending people? Because I think about it and I always go, oh, I don't care if I offend people because that's that thing of just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. Obviously, I'd rather not offend anybody. Yeah, Why, you don't yeah. want to upset anybody no, or anger not. if you could choose. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that you can't, you can't choose. No, you can't choose who gets offended by stuff. You must I, have, I, I, I find that, sorry, mate, um, my go. <laughs> my podcast. Um, Zach Fox's stinky little show. Um, you, I, I think you can be as offensive as you like. 
because time will help people forget. Give me an example. Mate, I guarantee you Louis C.K.'s career will get back on track. Okay. I guarantee you. You think so? Yeah, I really, really do. I really do. do. Th- wrong, wrongly, wrongly or rightly, right, people right. Think, dude. And Kanye West has hasn't. No, he's, he's headlining has, a festival exactly. as we speak. That controversy did not affect him one iota in the long in the long run. So what? How do you land on that? Um, if what I'm saying is, if you or I or any of our friends accidentally get in hot water at any point of our careers, just remember that. Everybody forgets everything. They just do, dude. I know. They just do. Know. If it takes one year or ten years or hundred years. Here we go then, Harvey Weinstein. In a hundred years, my, my kids won't know his name. You know what I mean? Oh, right, okay. Even, okay. even so, if it oh, takes so you're talking years, almost like existentially. Like, even yeah, if yeah. it takes a hundred years, nothing matters. Oh, fuck yeah. me, dude. No, 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 Shit. no, no. Because no. we talk about this all the time and I think it's no, good. No, we to... can't get into nothing matters, dude. No, we're not talking about that. I, I'm, I want to start another <laughs> nihilism podcast and I don't want to cross-pollinate. Oh, do you? Okay. Make sure you listen to Nothing Matters Stinky Podcast. <laughs> what other artists have successfully t- rebranded and changed their names? I can think of Lightspeed Champion, mm. who, fantastic artist, mm-hmm. going into Blood Orange, an equally fantastic artist. Who, who else? Incredible. Do you uh, know? Prince, but that was more legal. Uh, Formerly mean, known as Rixton. That yeah. would have been fucking cool. Yeah. Um, well, I don't think we had enough success to pull that off. Yeah. It'd be a cringe. Um, you didn't have to agree with that. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think um, I'd love to. I'd love to. Uh, ah, I loved the last Shadow Puppets. Miles Kane and um, uh, Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkeys. They did their own duo yeah. project, and it was like both their sounds sonically coming together to create this fucking masterpiece. Jake Roach. Who would you like? Matty to do Healy. That okay. I've I, I've had dreams about it. Of a climate and ecological crisis. The whole thing with Push Baby is that I am so fucking aware that we are doing top forty on the nose pop right now that's why the visuals are so slightly left-leaning and alternative it's just a very self-aware band and i would love to do something with matty healy where we get into a room and like mate should we just fucking do an ep and just put it out under a different name and just see what happens and then do like a fucking i just i just would love to just even just to get in a room with him man like well it, it, he's coming on this show did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, next episode. So everyone tune into that. Make sure that you listen to that <laughs> mate, one. Mate, the universe, mate. The universe works in mysterious <laughs> ways the thoughts manifest themselves. <laughs> um, no, yeah. um, Jake, genuinely one of the best chats we've ever had that. Yeah, Thank God awesome. there was um, a thousand pounds of podcasting equipment here to capture it. Thank you for giving a me so much wake, amazing yeah. stuff, man. Thank you. And on behalf of the fans, thanks for the amazing music. <laughs> Thanks for the good times. <laughs> that was awesome. Awesome. Now it's my job to pick the mood right back up for game number two. <laughs> um, great. Seamless segue there, mate. Mm-hmm. Great chat. I loved that. Yeah, awesome. Shame that this game now is going to fucking spoil the whole thing. <laughs> game number two. It's like we've just got in our snorkeling gear to think really deeply. And we've panicked and gone, we'll get to the surface. And now we're scrambling to the top of it. We just lost sunlight for a minute. All right, game number two, Jake. You're on three points currently, and there's another four yet to still win. You could be walking out of here with seven points. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Why are you staring out the window Because you know what I'm like with rules. Game number two is called Build a Banger Workshop. And the rules couldn't be more simple. Is that going to be your catchphrase? Yeah, no, make it, make it. Leave leave me alone. (laughs) In this game, you're going to be building a song from scratch. Okay. Lucky you. Inside this stinky little hat here. It's my hat. I've got some stinky little rules. (laughs) My rules. So the song has to stick to these rules. You're going to pull four rules out of this hat and improvise a song, winning yourself a point for each rule you manage to stick to. You're Listen. Sorry. You're going to have two chances here of building a banger with us taking the highest score as your final result. That clear? Yeah. Awesome. Are you going to thank me for coming up with such an excellent yes, fun that, game? Mate, I'm, it's an awesome game. Thank you for that. You're very welcome. Uh, what instrument are you going to go for? Just a cappella? I've got a guitar. Oh, that's what that thing is. It's sat in your hands this whole time. Nah, it's yours. Jake Roach, yes. reach into the hat and pull out the first rule. Cool. Here we go. <sighs> One line must be sang in the style of a jazz crooner. 
Okay, that's fair enough, right? Yes. So a bit of a... Yeah, 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 okay. Cringing already. Here we go. Another one. The song must mention the titles of three Tom Hanks movies. One line as a jazz crooner mentioned three Tom Hanks movies in this banger. The song must be exactly 20 to 30 seconds long. So I've got to fit a verse. That's really difficult. Pre and a chorus. One line as a jazz crooner. Three Tom Hanks movies. It's got to be 20 to 30 seconds long. I remember you don't have to do all of these. It's just, just fucking whichever ones, Whichever ones you manage to hit, you'll get a point okay. for. Final rule. <sighs> the song must feature a few Tori Kelly style runs. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, for, so for people out there who don't know Tori Kelly, yeah, you're um, living under a rock. Um, yeah, Tori Kelly, she's a fantastic singer, and she does runs a little bit like this, Jake. <laughs> so we're just going to need a few of them. One line must be sung in the style of a crooner. Three Tom Hanks movies, 20 to 30 seconds long. A Tori Kelly run. A few Tori Kelly style runs. Uh, I've got my stopwatch here, ready to go. Cool. Are you ready? Give me a nod when the song's done. Okay. And I'll hit this. Okay. I'll hit the timer. Here we go. Yeah. For your first song. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Three, two, one, go. I just want to watch Toy Story. (laughs) That's fucking 30 seconds there. Right. I'm going to forget that rule. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even think about that. Just don't even think about it. I just want to watch Toy Story. <laughs> There's a Toy no, Kelly riff with that, the that was three in one. Yeah, exactly. I want to watch Big. Oh, I want to watch Captain Phillips. With you. How many is that? Family you seconds. Don't. Yeah, I think so. Oh, a song. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> I did three. You did three Tori Kelly star runs. That's a point. That is correct. You mentioned three Tom Hanks movies. That's another point. Bang. That is correct. You sung the entire thing like a jazz crooner. Oh, uh, one line must be. Half I'll, a give, point. It. I'll okay, give it. I'll give the point. You, I'll give the point. Thank you. That is correct. Unfortunately, it was 44 (laughs) seconds long. Fucking hell, no chorus, no proof. That's three points as far as I'm concerned. Awesome, I'm happy with that. But that's not it. You get one more chance now to get all four points with song number two. (gasps) Let's pull out some rules. Right, so here we go. Rule number one. The song must feature major plot points from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. (laughs) I've never watched it. You know some characters though, right? The melody must begin and end with an octave jump. This is <laughs> fucking horrendous. Okay. The song must feature a call and response. The last line must be about your biggest insecurity. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, four rules. Once again, the song must reference major plot points from Lord of the Rings. The melody must begin and end with an octave jump. The song must feature a call and response. And finally... The last line must be about your biggest insecurity. Jake, you ready to build your banger? Yes, one second. Let me read it again. The song must feature... Whenever you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, please go crazy for your singer for tonight, Mr. Jake Roach. Here we go. When I say you shall not, you say pass. That's that. I've tried to put three in one. (laughs) That's the octave. You are precious, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just had him in my head, mate. <laughs> All right, pick it up from your precious, okay. my dear. My dear, you're <laughs> precious, my dear. Don't remember that. Lego last, Lego last, Le- Lego last. Oh my god! I'm gonna build you a Lego last. <laughs> <laughs> You shall not Jay, I'm going to have to go upstairs. You're going to have to wrap this podcast up on your own. Uh, um, Here we go. Just finish it. Just, just wind it up. I sometimes come too quickly. <laughs> well done, Jake. Let's have a look which rules you managed to stick to. The melody must begin and end with an octave jump. 
That is correct. You've got that one. The song must feature a call and response. When I, well, because you didn't, he wasn't engaged. When I say <laughs> you shall not, you say pass. All right, I'll give you that. That's, that's two a points. major plot twist and the call and response. That is correct. That is correct. Okay, that's three points. I mean, the whole system was set up to fuck me, wasn't it, really? And finally, the song must feature major plot points from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. That is correct. You've got it, mate. That's the full four Ooh. points. Congratulations. I see now why you might be earning the big bucks soon. Mate, thank you so much for giving us your time and giving us your talent. Uh, and thanks for joining me. You're jogging home with a score of seven out of eight. A remarkably high score for your first innings. And possibly your next big hit. Legolas will be releasing on Spotify at midnight tonight. Make sure you hit it up. Make sure you share it with your friends. Make sure you download it. One more. Make it your theme tune. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I legally own that song i think okay. now so if you want to just give me some if you want to just settle it now do you know yeah, I mean? yeah, give me yeah. some cash yeah yeah because i was in the room when you were yeah. how much you get for being in the room when, when like a hit is written change a word get a third that's the rule change a word get a third yeah okay so lego boy is going to be out in stores lego boy <laughs> The Lego lass. Yes. yes cool. Not the Lego lass. <laughs> the Gimli. You must give me the axe, the Gimli, for the Aragorn is coming to kill us. I haven't <laughs> seen it either. <laughs> if you guys want to see some extra visual bits from this episode, such as a lovely photo of Jake playing the guitar with a forehead slick with nervous <laughs> sweat, <laughs> um, then search for Zach Fox's stinky little show on Instagram. And then all you have to do is press the follow button. And then you'll be following me. Whilst you jump on the train, you lot at home can email me, stinkylittleshow at gmail.com. Please send me some comments. So, are you going to sorry, muscle? Sorry, Bra- sorry. We don't get this on BBC Radio 1. Sorry. Greg James doesn't have to put up with this fucking shit. Email me, comments, uh, any stories, ideas for games, ideas for some guests that don't have to prep all the games before. I'm on episode two and I'm already struggling with ideas for games. So just send me any ideas you have. I'd love to I just want to say read. really quickly as well, mm. any fans that are listening, make sure you um, tell everyone about it and try and get some guests on. Oh, get, tell everyone about this. Yeah, get some, get some, pe- I think this is a really, really special show and I think a lot of, it's a nice a bit of serious and a bit of fun and I think that's what's missing right now. So I think oh. fans should, um, yeah, get in touch with other artists to say, get them on the stinky show. Nice, um, mate. May I do try and I do try and tiptoe the line. I think between it being funny and it being serious, and I think I fuck it both ways. <laughs> I think I fumble the ball on both accounts. Is there anything you'd like to tell everyone, mate? Come on, guys, check out the um, the music, man. Whatever. I'm just happy to be here to do this fucking show, and it's awesome. And I've had a lot of fun, and I need to go and get a train home. Guys, listen to the music. Follow Push Baby. I have heard some stuff that won't be coming out for possibly a year, and it is absolutely unreal jake it is your best work thanks so everyone stay tuned and be excited for that but much before then i will see you next time for an episode even stinkier than this one (laughs) i guess